Hello, what is going on YouTube? Lake Solo here, and we're back with another video. And in today's video is a tutorial on how to fix your Battlefield 4 uh, Punk Buster client. So this is basically for all you guys who have been trying, who are still having this issue with Punk Buster. Um, I actually got the issue after re well after transferring all my stuff from one hard drive to another, and Punk Buster basically just messed up, and I couldn't play Battlefield 4. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. So. My Punk Buster is already fixed, but I'm basically going to show you how I did it. So first things first, um, the best thing you want to do is go ahead into your Windows, and then you're going to go into your Windows file. Oh, you're going to go into your Control Panel, System Security, Windows Firewall, and then you're going to go into Advanced Settings. Yeah. And then you've got your inbound rules, okay? So as you can see, you've got everything for all your games and everything you've got installed on your PC. Now I have two Battlefield 4s. Um, one of them's normal, one's for 64-bit. As you can see, it's, it's all just... These should be ticked and they should all be enabled. But now what you're going to look for is you're going to press P and you're going to look for these, okay? Now. Like about a year ago now, or a few months ago, they actually said you only needed two of these, but on a fresh install it actually gives you four now. So, what you need is, you need to go into all of your Punk Busters, and you're going to set, go into your Programs and Services when you go into its properties, and go ahead and select, because it should look like this on this program, and then it'll have loads of text. Just move it up and click all programs that meet the specified conditions. Press apply and then OK. And as you can see, I've done this for all of mine. Alright, so that's the first way to do it. Um, if you're still having issues after that, then you're going to have to go into your second one and this means you're going to have to go into where you installed your game. So for me, I installed mine in my games library. So we're going to Battlefield 4. Then you have your Punk Buster. Alright. My advice, just go into your installer. Punk Buster. Redist. And just run this application. Okay, now I've already got it installed. So, But what you want to do is uninstall it. Because this version of Punk Buster is also kind of like, it's messed up, it doesn't seem to work no, uh, no more, but it didn't with me anyway. So you want to uninstall it and reinstall it, and then see if that changes anything. And if that doesn't change anything for you, then here is the final step. I do recommend coming on to evenbalance.com, there will be a link down in the description below. And basically when you come on to here, you've got your Punk Buster, you want to select the version, hopefully the latest version for you guys will be 3.8 if you're on Windows, if you're on Linux or Mac, then obviously you'll have to choose one of these. But um, what you're going to do is just go ahead and press for all Windows, and then you're going to download this. I've already downloaded it, so if I go ahead into here, Punk Buster Setup, and then you should have this in here. Don't worry about these HTMs, these got, these got put in here after I used the tool, because I'm not uh, cost it as modifying. So you're going to go ahead and launch it, agree to what it has to say, click add game, and then of course it should find all the games, well it normally does all the games that are, um, ah right, I thought it was games on your, on your actual uh, PC it chose, but no. Uh, so these are all the games that are supported with the newest version, so obviously you're going to select Battlefield 4 or any other game you're having problems with, and then it should automatically find the game path, add the game, and then just press afterwards update punk buster and then it should be all good and then afterwards what you're going to do is just go ahead into or my advice as well restart origin just to make sure and then just press play on your battlefield 4 and everything should be okay um I can't promise that this will work for everyone because, you know, it's everyone's system's different and it's one of these things where some people can fix their issues, some people have to reinstall. Like, it's just, let's just put it out there that it's one of the strangest uh, like issues and bugs I've ever come across in gaming. I mean, normally most of them you can fix with just a text document or just reinstalling the software, but now of course, 
because it's Punk Buster and let's face it, EA don't do a very good job at fixing the game sometimes, so of course you have to put up with that. But as you can see, we are loading into Battlefield and it should lock us in straight away because normally when I did this, because my internet isn't the best, but um, it would normally say, like, uh, disconnected by Punk Buster or as soon as I got into a match, it would disconnect me straight away and say, oh, kicked by Punk Buster. I mean, it was like every 30 seconds of entering the game, which was, to be honest, I thought it was quite a pain in the ass because, I mean, you, you, you want to play your games, you don't want to put up with stupid errors like this. But as you can see, it says welcome to your battlefield. As soon as this gets on the air, title screen should be all good. <laughs> yeah, you see? And now I'm in. But um, anyway guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I really hope I did help you guys out with this because, you know, I always want to try and help other people out. But anyways, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video and I helped you out, please do give it a thumbs up because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. If you have any issues or it didn't work, then go ahead and give it a dislike so I know. Also as well, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button <coughs> to keep up to date with all my latest content. And anyway guys, that's it for today. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.